All right, for video number three, um, not the best way to test something, but it gives you an idea. So what I've got here is a syringe, okay? Now I've pulled off another top of the syringe and put it in the end here so it can't leak air. As we know, you can't compress the liquid, but you can compress air. So it's like a big spring, okay? This is gonna give me a guide on how much spring tension is on the, um, pressure relief valves. So I'm gonna push down on them with this and just watch where that ends up. So what we'll do, we'll start up here. Now, I was told that the genuine filter, the pressure relief opens up at 14.5 PSI. So let's have a look here. Around. See, so when I see this white thing down the bottom, when that starts opening, is when the spring pressures, there it is there. Right, so I'm just on the, around the 9. Right, next one. Right, it's about the same. Okay. Next one. That's the same. About the same. All the same so far. Oh, this one's a bit tighter. So we're down to eight on that one. Okay. Valvoline. This one's a different design. Oh, we're down a fair way on that one. What's that, six? Go back to the start and check that again. So that's our reference nine. Back over here again. So they're a little bit stand about eight. That one's in eight. Eight. And eight so looking at that like i said this is not accurate this is just something i thought up at the end of the day um it gives you an idea on how much spring weight i suppose is on that pressure relief now if you don't understand how a filter works the idea is once the element blocks up or as it gets full of uh particulate or you know whatever it blocks up with it ends up blocking the filter and it has to have a way of getting around that so they put a relief valve in there so the pressure can go around the outside and through that hole there so the oil will actually go through that hole so it opens the valve up the oil, go, oil goes through the middle so depending on how much spring tension is on that uh depends on i suppose how much it's going to try and force um the oil through that filter so for an instance the high tech and the valve lean their spring tension is a lot higher than the rest so it might be because the elements is smaller in both those filters so they've put a heavier spring on them to try and force more through that filter element. Um, yeah, I'm not sure why they're set differently to the other ones. That's the only thing I can come up with is because there's so much, such li little element in there, they're trying to force more through the element before it opens that valve, which could be a problem. I mean, if someone's got this filter here, and like I said, I've been fitting these, I've never had a problem with them. Um, but in saying that, after looking inside one now, I'm probably going to get something a bit better quality. Um, that's probably a good oil filter as long as you're changing the oil every, say, 10,000 K. You know, um, if you're one of the customers out there that drive this thing until the wheels fall off, that's probably not going to do your engine any good because it's going to block the element up and then the valve's going to open. And then all you're going to do is have the dirty oil going around in circles and doing nothing. So anyway, bit of an idea. As you can see, those four are a little bit tight on the spring and all these other ones seem to be about the same. There's a fair bit that goes into these things, I suppose. You know, everybody thinks it's an oil filter. It's just a can that filters the oil, but they're all different. Anyway, hope you like the videos. Sort of concluded at the moment until I find another filter. I might try and get that Fran and the um, K&N filter. We'll go from there with those two. Um, 
I might try and test something else after this since I've had such a good response on this one. I might try something else. I was thinking maybe fuel injector cleaners or something along the lines of that. Got to figure out a way to test it first. So leave that with me. I'll try and rack up something else in my crazy brain to open up and show. Yeah, thanks for watching.